A thought-provoking quote from Charles Coulson challenges a bold claim, that the universe created itself. Such a claim stands in direct conflict with a fundamental law of logic, the law of contradiction, which states that something cannot be both the cause and the effect simultaneously. This brings us to what may be the greatest cosmological mystery of our time. Recent findings from the James Webb Space Telescope have shaken the foundations of modern cosmology. Could it be that everything we thought we knew about the Big Bang and the formation of the first stars was fundamentally flawed? Old theories are no longer enough. We are now entering a completely new chapter in the study of the universe. One of the most extensive computer simulations in scientific history has uncovered stunning revelations about the early universe. But can these simulations fully account for what the James Webb Telescope is showing us? Charles Coulson believed in a universe governed by logic and reason, one where facts and data provide the ultimate answers. Yet, his assertion that the universe cannot be both creator and creation is now being challenged. The reality facing cosmologists today is sobering, many long-standing theories, grounded in the laws of physics and logic, are beginning to unravel. Some have gone so far as to suggest that, ever since the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, we've been witnessing the collapse of classical physics. The reason? Astronomers have detected galaxies so ancient and so well-formed that, under the old rules of cosmology, they shouldn't exist at all. It raises a profound question. What if our universe doesn't obey the laws we've trusted for decades? Scientists around the globe are racing to find answers. One promising idea is the starburst theory, which may explain how brilliant, fully formed galaxies could have already been lighting up the cosmos just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These so-called impossible galaxies present a major challenge. To understand this, let's rewind to the summer of 2022. The James Webb Space Telescope had just been launched and was hailed as a groundbreaking leap for astronomy. Thousands of researchers and space enthusiasts eagerly awaited its first images. The very first image astonished the scientific world, not just for its clarity and scale, but for something far more shocking. Among the earliest visible points of light were objects with extreme redshifts, indicating they existed billions of years in the past. Just days later, one researcher announced the discovery of a galaxy with a redshift of Z equals 13. Soon after, others reported galaxies with redshifts as high as Z equals 20. A redshift of 13 means the galaxy formed only about 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. And here lies the dilemma. Under the standard cosmological model, fully formed galaxies were expected to emerge no earlier than 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang. These new observations may force us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the early universe. After a prolonged era of complete darkness in the universe, the age of reionization gradually ushered in light. The very first stars began emitting intense radiation, transforming the once opaque hydrogen fog into a transparent medium. This crucial phase marked a pivotal moment in cosmic history, paving the way for the formation of complex structures, stars, galaxies, and galaxy clusters. Through this process, the early universe evolved from a dark, opaque expanse into a luminous, dynamic, and ever-changing cosmos. According to traditional models, it took about 1 to 2 billion years after the Big Bang for the first dwarf galaxies to appear, which then merged over time to form larger galaxies. But the James Webb Space Telescope has revealed something astonishing, it has observed highly structured and incredibly bright galaxies just 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. Could the classic starburst model account for this unexpected early complexity? What if the universe's darkest era was actually lit by cosmic fireworks, far more intense than previously imagined? Following these groundbreaking discoveries, scientists input the new James Webb data into the world's most advanced supercomputers. The outcome? one of the most detailed and sophisticated simulations ever created of the universe's earliest stages. But Sears 1749 has another remarkable feature. It exists in a cosmic neighborhood where the surrounding celestial bodies appear significantly older, creating a puzzling mismatch. This galaxy had already formed just 200 million years after the supposed Big Bang, making it seem as though it belongs to an entirely different era. Could this anomaly be due to redshift measurement errors? The discovery of the mysterious Schrödinger's galaxy, named after the famous quantum thought experiment, Schrödinger's cat, 
has raised questions about the accuracy of current measurement techniques. As a result, scientists around the world are now re-evaluating these methods. So far, however, the techniques appear to hold up under scrutiny, and even older galaxies continue to emerge. Redshift refers to the displacement of spectral lines toward longer wavelengths as objects move farther away from us. In astronomy, redshift is represented by the dimensionless value z. A z of zero indicates the present, while higher values reflect greater distances and further look-back time. Using this method, the Hubble Space Telescope identified a galaxy with a redshift of z equals 11, meaning the light from that galaxy has taken 13.4 billion years to reach us. Given that the Big Bang is thought to have occurred 13.8 billion years ago, this galaxy held the record as the oldest known for some time. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope is revealing dozens of galaxies that appear to be even older. Some of the most ancient galaxies now discovered have astonishing redshift values reaching z equals 20. Ongoing observations with the Atacama Large Millimeter Slash Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile may soon confirm Webb's groundbreaking data. Right now, astronomers are working tirelessly to match Webb's groundbreaking observations with existing cosmological models. Whether they'll succeed remains to be seen, it's still too early to draw firm conclusions from the data. Interestingly, this journey began with a mistake. In 1995, U.S. astronomer Robert Williams, who had been granted observation time with the Hubble Space Telescope, made a controversial decision. He chose to point Hubble toward an apparently empty patch of sky in the Big Dipper constellation. At the time, Hubble's observation time was extremely valuable and in high demand. Many scientists criticized Williams for wasting such precious telescope time on what seemed like a barren region of space. Hubble captured images of this region continuously for 10 days. Experts expected to find only a few faint galaxies, if anything at all. Williams even risked his job over the decision. But then something extraordinary happened. Because there were so few nearby stars or galaxies in the foreground, light from far more distant and ancient galaxies was able to shine through. What Hubble revealed became known as the Hubble Deep Field, a once empty patch of sky now shown to be filled with thousands of galaxies, some over 12 billion years old. For the first time, humanity had a glimpse that deep into the universe. This breakthrough completely changed how we observe the cosmos, and it planted the seed for something even bigger, a next-generation space telescope that could peer even deeper into space and further back in time. Today, that vision has become a reality, and we're still just at the beginning of the James Webb Space Telescope's mission. The JWST, as it's commonly known, was developed to give us unparalleled insight into the early universe. Equipped with cutting-edge technology, it surpasses the capabilities of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, by a significant margin. One of JWST's most remarkable features is its massive segmented primary mirror. Measuring 6.5 meters in diameter, it's nearly three times larger than Hubble's mirror. The mirror is made up of 18 hexagonal segments constructed from beryllium and coated with an ultra-thin layer of gold. This design allows the telescope to gather far more light, enabling it to detect faint and distant objects deep in the cosmos. Another major innovation is JWST's location. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST is stationed at the second Lagrange point, L2, about 1.5 million kilometers from our planet. This unique position provides several advantages. It keeps the telescope away from Earth's heat and light, allowing uninterrupted observation of cold, dark space, and offers a thermally stable environment that is ideal for its sensitive infrared instruments. Perhaps JWST's greatest strength lies in its ability to observe in the infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This allows scientists to peer through dense cosmic dust and study the formation of stars and planets that would otherwise remain hidden in visible light. Open-minded scientists like Michioku are excited about the surprising results coming from the James Webb Space Telescope, while others are hesitant to accept them. The future of science belongs to those who welcome such discoveries and are driven by a sincere pursuit of truth, not just by the desire to be proven right. We're already seeing fascinating new theories emerge, and it's as if the boundaries of science are being redrawn. It's only a matter of time before someone wins a major scientific prize, perhaps by predicting these developments correctly or simply following the right instinct. 
Researcher Riendra Gupta, for example, has proposed a bold reassessment of the universe's age.